Now let's summarize the superposition principles in terms of three steps. First step is to turn off all the independent sources except one. And I'll explain what we mean by turn off independent sources for a voltage source as well as a current source. Step two will you repeat step one for each independent source to find its individual output due to that source. And then finally step three we just add up all the individual outputs due to each source to find the total output. So what do we mean by turning off independent sources? So when I have a voltage source we have its IV characteristics so we have a voltage source Vs plus minus we have the current and we have a voltage so this implies in terms of IV characteristics here's V this is I so we have a constant voltage source and the slope of this guy is infinite which implies that the resistance is equal to zero so to turn off a voltage source we have to have the same shape but then we zero it out on this axis right here so if I put a red so we can distinguish it we zero that out with that voltage source so V is equal to zero here where Vs is equal to some value okay so once again to turn off an independent voltage source we simply replace it with a short so if I just take this guy and just replace it with a short it satisfies this IV characteristic here so this is V that's I now for a current source and then a V here its IV characteristics is simply this a constant current source slope of this line is zero which implies one over r that's equal to r equals infinite so we have to replace this with an open source I mean an open circuit so here we replace it with an open so this is an open switch to zero out that current source and then for a voltage source we replace it with a short or close switch and that's how you turn off independent sources so once again you turn off the independent sources except one repeat step one so you can find the output due to each of the independent source so we have to go through all the sources associated with the circuits the independent sources that is and then finally in step three we add up all the individual outputs due to each independent source to find the total output now let's illustrate the superposition principle with this example circuit here we're given two independent source VS and IS where R1 and R2 are connected as shown so let's find the voltage output due to Vs. So we have to get rid of the independent current source Is by replacing it with an open or open switch shown here. So now we see that Vs is connected in series with R1 and R2 and we can use the voltage divider. Now let's find the output due to the current source. So the output VO2 due to the current source we have to get rid of Vs and the way to get rid of Vs is by turning the voltage off and replacing it with a short since it has zero resistance due to its IV characteristics so now we have a current divider and now we can just use the current through R2 multiplied by the resistance to get the output voltage VO2 and then to get the total output voltage VO to do 
due to each of these independent sources, we add up VO1 and VO2. So here's an example showing the concept of the superposition principle. Here we have three voltage sources and we want to find the output. So the first thing we need to do is let's say we want to find the output due to VS3. Well we need to short out VS1 and VS2. So let me copy this circuit, edit, copy, edit, paste. So here we have this voltage, uh, same circuit. Now let me erase. And we want to replace it with a short. Okay, now we have the voltage due to VS3. We see that these two resistors now are in parallel and we can see that we can use the voltage divider of VO. So we can redraw this circuit now as VS3 goes through the resistor R and then the two parallel resistors becomes half of the resistor. So in other words we have R here and R over 2. The R over 2 comes when because these two resistors are in parallel and when two resistors are equivalent is R times R over R plus R which is just equal R over 2. So we can see here VO3 the output due to voltage source 3 is simply using voltage divider is VS3 is the source and the output is just R over 2 R plus R over 2 and when you simplify that that's just one third VS3 so VO3 in summary is one third VS3 now you can see because of symmetry of the circuit, if I want to find the output due to VS2, the second voltage source, we just short VS3 and VS1 and we'll get VO2 is equal to one-third VS2 and we're going to get the same relationship for the voltage source VS1. So this is VO1 is equal to one-third VS1. So the total output is due to each of those voltage outputs due to source 1, voltage source 2, and voltage source 3, or one-third VS1 plus VS2 plus VS3. So that's our total output in this case. Okay, so we can see it acts like a summer. So that's how you use the concept of the superposition principle to simplify our analysis in terms of analyzing this circuit.